thing Arabic. Anyone who communicates on the Internet in Arabic will be shut down in these countries. Can't do that because that's uh, linguistically profiling. Okay, so we'll do nothing. We'll just let them blow up a nursery school next time, and we'll all be good libertarians and good First Amendment uh, individuals. I mean, we've got to do something. We've got to do something, so we've got to start somewhere. We're doing nothing right now, zero, because we have government zero with President zero. In a government zero. Okay, I made my point. Well, how do you begin then? How do you begin then? Are the geniuses in the Internet business can call the show. Why doesn't someone who works for Larry Ellison call the program from Silicon Valley? Why doesn't someone who works for the genius who runs Twitter call the show? Since we're having this debate, what do you think, we're all stupid? You think we don't want to see your companies closed down for you having permitted these people to communicate on your highways, which, which, by the way, you didn't create. Incidentally, all you trillionaires, you didn't create these information superhighways. They were created with federal funds. Did you know that? Taxpayer money created these superhighways. These are just the robber barons of our time who stepped in like the wildcatters they are, the Internet wildcatters, and cap capitalized on the flow of oil, so to speak. And I think it's time to get these robber barons to control the superhighways that were given to them. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth and financial future. Call 1-800-289-2600. It never, it never fails to amaze me how stupid listeners can be. Here's a, a Facebook posting. It says, it is your job as a political talk show host to watch the debate. I usually listen to your show, but because you have no comment on the GOP debate and can't talk about it, since you didn't watch it, I'm tuning you out today. Well, what have I been talking about, Doris, for an hour now? I got the germ of the debate, Doris. What, what's wrong with these people? They make up their minds. They don't even know what they're talking about. Now, Keith on WABC is calling. He has a great point. Keith, make it now. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Uh, about what uh, Trump said on the Internet, uh, he's 100% right. These websites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I mean, they should have people on there that are monitoring this stuff. I mean, they take down your, your pictures. But they well, thank you. They censored me. Excuse me, Mark Zuckerberg's little girl minions took down pictures that I posted on my Facebook account last week showing you what the Islamo-fascists were actually doing. They, they censored me. Why don't they censor the Islamo-fascists? Which side is Zuckerberg on? They should censor them. On top of that, I mean, we have or should have people in the FBI that are like network security specialists. I mean, you would think that they could track the ideas. I'm sure they do, but they don't have enough of them, number one. What I think they need to do is have a special draft, not a generalized draft, because we don't need everyone. I think they need to draft computer experts into the military tomorrow. I think there needs to be a specialized selective service call-up of any computer-savvy young man or young woman between the ages of 18 and, uh, let's say, Whatever, it doesn't matter what the age group is. From age 18 on, they need to be drafted into the military immediately and put into the cyber divisions of the United States military at some command post somewhere deep in the bowels of America. Now, get them to do something useful for America. And then we may have a chance of fighting uh, the Islamo-fascists. I'm not kidding in what I just said. I didn't do it for effect. We don't need a generalized call-up. We don't need three to four million people to go onto the front lines. We need only a few hundred thousand computer-savvy people. They're never going to enlist in the military. We need to draft them immediately, a, a targeted selective service draft. Just as we now have targeted chemotherapeutic agents, we need to target selective citizens for the selective service. That's Michael Savage's idea. Exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. I would certainly be open to closing areas where we are at war with somebody. I sure as hell don't want to let people that want to kill us and kill our nation use our Internet. Yes, sir, I am. All right, then they attacked him for saying that, and of course, predictably, Rand Paul 
the doxied uh, uh, libertarian jumps down his throat, telling him that he's th that he's wrong, that it's not constitutional, blah blah blah. So I came up with something in the last hour that's un unique to the discussion. Excuse me, and that is this: not only should we target certain portions of the world for a blackout of the internet, turn it off completely, but I think we have to go several steps beyond that. And I said that the selective service should select computer-savvy young people and draft them into the U.S. military. China has a huge, huge underground facility, I understand, with young, cyber-savvy individuals who are on the Internet all the time trying to penetrate various aspects of our government and spy on us hurt us, shut down military computers, etc. I'm sure we have such divisions in the military, or we wouldn't even be functioning. But we don't have enough. We don't have a cyber army. And Michael Savage, I believe, is the first one, certainly in the radio business, to break new ground once again by calling for a selective draft of computer-savvy young people. Don't ask them if they want to join. Force them to join. It doesn't matter how many lawyers they get. Override the lawyers. 18 years are up. You're going to be drafted if you're a computer expert. You're going into the military. You're going to fight this war in Islamic fascism, and you're going to do it immediately, whether you want to or not. We're at war. They're at war. They're killing us. We're not fighting back the way we need to fight back. And so I'm asking you in the audience, is this an idea that you would approve of, and if... Not, why not? Should the Selective Service select computer-savvy young people and draft them into the military? I'm talking about a selective Selective Service. Not a broad-scale draft. We don't need four million people in the military right now. We're not putting them on the ground to fight ISIS. N number one, it wouldn't work. Number two, uh, we don't need them. All we need is a real wartime leader to bomb them into the Stone Age. That's what we really need. But... In terms of manpower and woman power, we absolutely need computer-savvy young people. You're between the ages of 18 and whatever. You grew up. You know how to use the Internet. You're a whiz kid. You're going into the military. You are going into the military. You're going into a deep, dark chamber with other computer-savvy individuals for X number of years until we've beaten them. How's that? What's wrong with that? Tell me what's wrong with that idea. Jeff on WABC in New York City, make your point, please. Mike, I support you 100%. I support Trump 100%. I'll tell you what, certain segments of this worldwide Internet, I mean, it, it's like giving Goebbels a desk right next to, uh, you know, the news anchor, like right, right next to Walter Cronkite every night in which to, you know, spew their particular brand of property. Right. These superhighways were created with government money, with taxpayer funding, and the wildcatters who own these companies like Twitter and Facebook have made billions off of it. It's time for them to give back to us instead of being the greedy people that they are. And we need to crack down on them right now and force them to do something. And one of the things we need to do is not only restrict the Internet in Iraq, in Syria, but also we need to draft people into the military who are computer savvy. I think you would agree with that. I agree 100% with that because you have to remember, this is not only an action in order to recruit people, but that long arm of reach of the Internet is being used as a tool to communicate with the people that are already here. But, you, Jeff, I'm looking at the screen and it says, Liberals rather protect kids from God in school than from ISIS propaganda on the Internet. That's right. Liberal psychotics root out any mention of God. Any mention of God <coughs> is rooted out by the psychotics with law degrees in the ACLU, who, by the way, are a terrorist, is a terrorist organization. The ACLU is clearly a terrorist organization by any definition. If they're attacking our fundamental liberties and attacking, <coughs> excuse me, our fundamental belief in God and saying virtually nothing about the, the war on terror, we have to understand that they're actually on the other side. But I'm not in the government. I'm in the media, and all I survive on is my wits and my ideas, and that's my idea, which is to bring back the draft selectively for computer-savvy young people. I assume you agree with that. I absolutely agree with it. 
I think. All right, well, that's commonsensical. I think it's a great idea. I love my idea. And I know I haven't heard it on any other show. They're busy talking about other things that they heard on another show, who are busy talking about other things that they heard on yet another show. I mean, either we have a currency of new ideas or we're no, there's no reason for this business. It's that simple. So I gave you a new idea. It's a new idea. It's not that brilliant. I'm not Einstein, but it's a new idea for talk radio. Okay, we're not going backwards now. We're going forwards. That's a forward-thinking idea. A selective draft, selective draft aimed at computer-savvy young people. I love the idea. It's a great idea. Draft a couple of hundred thousand. Give them to all branches of the military. Give them some basic training in a boot camp so they at least learn how to fire a rifle if they need to. They may love it. They may feel better than they felt in their entire life instead of being pampered and babied by some psycho parent somewhere. B.O.B. Radio. Joe, you're up on the Savage Nation. What's on your mind? Hi, Mike. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, I think it's a terrific idea. Um, I'm a 25-year Navy vet myself, and I I've always thought that uh, young people should go in the military anyway in this country for at least a couple of years. But, um, we, you know, we've got to fight the war where the war is being fought, and that's on uh, the Internet and in cyberspace. So I, I just think it's a terrific idea. Right, because if, if we said bring back the draft, that could be debated because we do not need four million people all of a sudden. Uh, we don't have the infrastructure. It was all destroyed by the liberals who took our great military bases and gave them to their friends to develop them into real estate. Look at Feinstein's backyard with the Presidio. Take a look at what Feinstein, Boxer, and Pelosi have done to the Presidio military base. They've turned it into a liberal playground. And if you think people haven't made fortunes on that, transfer of property you're mistaken i can name the hotels that they've built on these properties etc but the fact is we don't even have the infrastructure to house all of these millions that we do not need we only need a few hundred thousand and that infrastructure is very easily created thank you i'm giving you a copy of government zero this idea is not in government zero this idea will be in uh well in another form at another time right now you have it for free it's gone out into the internet of talk radio the airwaves, rather, of talk radio. And I hope it circulates and percolates. And I hope that people in the Republican Party who really care about this country steal my idea. Steal my idea and don't give me credit for it. I don't care. Just run with the idea. Make believe it's yours. Maybe Rubio could steal it. The child, the child candidate. If I had to look at that moron smiling for one more second, I would say either the guy is a dunce. I've never seen anything like this. He smiled when he came on the stage like it was a child reciting Hickory Dickory Dock in the first grade. Here I am, Marco Rubio. I'm so smart, I'm going to be the president. I had my teeth brushed and my hair brushed last night. Don't my new shoes look so shiny? I'm Marco Rubio. I want to be president. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, and Rubio ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Yeah, that's a candidate. He's the only one on the stage that I wouldn't vote for. <clears throat> the one handpicked, the one handpicked by Larry Ellison and uh, Myron from uh, Las Vegas. I forget Myron's last name. The one who owns the big hotels, the gambling casinos. Myron, the Republican. I don't know his name. I'm sorry. I know he's very important and very rich. A Republican uh, from Las Vegas. What's his name, Robert? No one knows. No one knows anything in radio. You have to look it up. The big hotel magnate, Adelson, Adelson, Sheldon Adelson, not Myron, sorry. Shelly Boy. Shelly Boy picked Rubio because Rubio is for open borders, and Shelly needs cheap labor, period, end of story, my opinion. He's the Republic. Democrat Ellison picked Rubio, put a lot of money behind him, a lot of manpower, a lot of uh, intelligence. Why? Because he wants cheap labor. He wants cheap labor. There aren't enough yachts on the planet for Ellison. There isn't enough money on the earth for Ellison or Adelson. And so they want cheaper labor. They want to melt the, co the country down even further. Instead of giving American IT workers their jobs back, they'd rather bring them in from India because they work for half the price. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's not more complicated than that. That's who the H-1B visas were given to. That's simple. Michael on WBAP, enjoy me while you can for the remaining days. Go ahead, please. Yes, uh, I think it would be hard to implement because of the fact that you could draft them in there, but then to try to make them think and try to get them to, to be productive would be difficult. 
I think you'd have to do more financial style and incentives rather. Well, than it may be draft. difficult, but the, but the babies could be forced to actually do something.